It's just before 6 a.m. The day begins in a small town here in the Ocean State. Narragansett, also known as Gansett by the locals, is a little beach town made up of several villages and some of Rhode Island's most beautiful beaches. And folks here take the term beach town seriously. It's not even 10 a.m., yet on this 80 degree spring weekday, people are already hitting the beach. Missing from this scene? Surfers, not one in sight, despite this being a huge surfing community. It's flat here now. The best time of year we have for surfing is the fall and the winter, because that's when the hurricanes are out there and it brings us waves. Trisha Pan is the daughter of surf legend and Narragansett resident, Peter Pan. He's a big deal in these parts. In 1996, he was one of the first inductees in the Surfing Hall of Fame for the East Coast. So from the time he started surfing when he was about 14, he's just promoted the sport, promoted the area, because he loves Narragansett, loves Rhode Island, and loves surfing. In 2001, the Pans, originally the Panagentis, opened this family-run shop, Narragansett Surf and Skate. We sell a ton of skateboards, skateboarding equipment, surfboards, wetsuits. Dude, this is awesome. Everything you need to get in the water or get to the skate park. Most of the goods here are designed by locals, including Peter Pan himself. He designed the board, yep. so the size, the length, the width, and in this one in particular, he did the artwork on it as well. Something like this is also going to last you 20 years if you take care of it. Since the surf isn't up to par on this trip, let's try the next best thing. Hey, skateboarding. Kids, watch what your mother is doing. Skateboarding. After all, surfers created skateboarding. Professional skateboarder Evan Mansalillo runs the skating side of Narragansett Surf and Skate. I've been skating for about 10 years. It's what I do at least five days of the week. It's my passion. I'm sponsored by All I Need Skateboards at uh, Taunton, Massachusetts. Evan won his first competition at age 13, and recognition soon followed. Some of my videos got on like skateboard magazine sites when I was like as young as 15. Just kind of built a name for myself. I just love skateboarding. He also gives hour-long lessons here to Woo! We're pushing. anyone. We're pushing. We're pushing. We're going. We're going. Hey, no one said it was going to be pretty, but after a few takes, I'm busting a move. All right, boys. What do you think? Yeah. All this skating works up in appetite. Time to hit up Crazy Burger an eclectic spot with close to 30 different burgers and really yummy smoothies on the menu. We like to focus on um, having something for everybody. So we do have beef burgers, we have gluten-free food, we have vegan food, we have fish. Everybody can be accommodated here. This is one crazy looking burger. It's got peppers, onions, the bacon, gouda cheese. It looks like an explosion. Fitting that it's called the fireworks. Owner Mike Maxson had a vision 25 years ago for his popular eatery. So Mike went to Johnson & Wales and uh, he worked at a lot of restaurants up in Providence. His thing at these restaurants was sort of that he made all these different eclectic burgers and he sort of kept track of them and his plan was to turn it into Crazy Burger. One day the spot opened up and he jumped on it. Crazy Burger is BYOB. Operational manager Emily Byrne says that's part of its success saves you a little money at the end of the night. So do people come in with their coolers? Oh yeah, all the time. Yeah, We've actually had a keg out here on the patio. They had a graduation party. They left the rest of it with us for the end of the night. So we were all good with it. <laughs> it was fun, yeah. Staying over, the Break Hotel was named the eighth best in New England by readers of Condé Nast in 2017. Husband and wife Jim and Becky Durkin opened this upscale getaway in 2015. We felt like there wasn't a boutique hotel, a really nice place in Narragansett, and this was an opportunity to kind of step it up a few notches. The vibe, retro surf. A lot of people, when they come here, what they say is they, they feel like they're walking into someone's really nice beach house. The break, named for the break of a wave, includes two restaurants, one with an ocean view deck, fitness room, spa, and a heated year-round pool. It's 92 degrees in the wintertime. 
in 82 in the summer. Yeah, people love it. And hotel guests have use of beach cruisers to check out the scene. Narragansett is such a laid back town that people, you know, just kind of come as you are. I think that really attracts people to this area. And just to bring Shana's story full circle, the brakes design was inspired by nostalgia for the surfing era of the late 60s when Peter Pan did put the town on the map. In fact, a painting of Peter Pan was commissioned for the hotel. Narragansett was a setting for one of the movies made by Rhode Island natives Peter and Bobby Farrelly, better known as the Farrelly Brothers. They set much of their 2000 film, Me, Myself and Irene, in Narragansett.